Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Welcome to first day of fall. Isn't this beautiful? I woke up this morning as I am walking uh, my dog, and we live up on the hilltop, and it was so foggy. It's as if I couldn't even see few feet in front of me. And then I realized, how apropos is this? When we think about life, there is so much that we don't know. There is so much that it's not clear in our life. So as we enter fall, I want to welcome you to this beautiful time of saying, what is it that you want in your life? What is it that you desire? Actually, not want, but desire. What do you desire? What do you request? What do you require in your life? Because healing within, it all begins by knowing what is it that we desire. To shift, to become, to evolve, to blossom into, right? Hello, Sarah John. How are you? Happy autumn to you as well. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa. And uh, by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. I have a healing center here in Glendale, California. And it is called Heal Within, Where Transformation Begins. So I think everyone's transformation begins when we choose and we say yes. Just like uh, every time we ask someone, have you ever, actually, let's do it this way. Have you ever asked someone, how do you feel? And they say, fine. And what does fine really mean? Fine. Do I really want to say what I feel? Or I'm saying fine, so I can just get you out of here. Fine in a way is, I'm not going to talk about what I feel, but I'm just saying I'm good enough, so you leave me alone. Are you okay? I'm fine. But underneath fine is another feeling of... If we want to turn it and break it down, what I work with is the pains. We all have a wound. We all have a pain. And it can be emotional, physical, mental, right? When we feel anxious and we don't know what it, this anxiety is about. It can start from the moment we go, from the morning, we take a walk. And if I was not looking at the fog and saying, this is really nice. How do I turn this? What kind of a metaphor can I use this for? Because in life, we can utilize metaphors for everything. A train can be moving us forward. Each compartment means something. As a matter of fact, when I do hypnotherapy, one of the uh, metaphors I love to use is a train. You know why? Because I think we, we, we are the conductor of this train. Now, imagine yourself being the conductor of a train. And it can be any train that you want. It can be like a fast Amtrak train, or it can be one of those beautiful trains that goes for a sightseeing. Actually, I don't know if there's any more choo-choo trains anymore other than a player. I mean, the, the ones that we put it around the tree, even those are becoming fast and kids play with. But when we become the conductor, that means we're always wearing the conductor's hat, right? And each compartment can be metaphorically a part of who you are. One can be family. Another can be your career. Another can be all your 
uh, feelings, thoughts, behaviors, habits. Another compartment can be your social, the people who are around you, your family, your parents, uh, your kids. So every compartment metaphorically can represent something. Now, you can just open the compartment door and as the conductor, go through each compartment. As a matter of fact, why not use this as a way of sitting back, give yourself some time today and go through this exercise because it's a beautiful exercise. And if you have ever seen a movie with a train and everything, I love fog and trains go through fogs, just like planes go through fogs and clouds without hesitation because they break through fog. And as a conductor, you open the door of a compartment. Hello, Shadow. How are you, hon? So you walk through this compartment and let's make the first compartment um, passengers. Passengers and passengers can be individuals, friends, family members, relationships who have been a part of your life until today. And whoever is sitting in the passenger compartment for what? for whatever purpose, it's like we are evoking all this. They've had a ticket given by you, either knowingly or unknowingly. You have invited them to be a part of your train. And in this compartment sit, sit all the individuals that you gave them permission to be a part of it until today. So I want you to just imagine walking through this compartment and looking at each and every individual. And those are very familiar to you. Your close family members, relationships, siblings, best friends, acquaintances, that you keep in your circle. And as you look at each individual, just acknowledge them and say thank you for being a part of your compartment, your journey until today. And as you do, validate them and move on to the next one, move on to the next one until you get to the end of the compartment. Now, imagine in your own mind, turning around and looking at one of them and you smile because for whatever reason, good, bad, a good relationship, a negative relationship, a loving relationship, a disheartened relationship, whatever it was, they were there to help you experience everything that you have experienced. Now we move all the way to the end and I want you to open that door to that compartment and move out of it. Close the door behind you knowing everyone that it's there. Good. Thank you. You're a part of my compartment and I'm keeping you, Jennifer. And then as you move to the second compartment, I want you to just look around. Those are all your experiences, every ed maybe education, your higher education, uh, everything that you have done as career wise, everything to help you excel to the next level. Everyone who has helped you, careers, all the businesses, everything, school, right? And look around and look at all the things that you have acquired there. And you feel good about them because no matter what it is, 
even if it is a bankruptcy in a business, even if it was a business closure, especially during COVID when you are at home and everything has been very slow, I want you to say thank you to that as well. I know it's going to be a little bit it's like, why? What? It's okay. Appreciate it. I want you to appreciate no matter what it is, stop the titles, peel away the titles, the adjectives, the good, bad, the right, wrong. It doesn't matter. You are experiencing all this and it's been a part of your journey until this very day. And then once you appreciate all that and you say thank you, I want you to move past it to the end of this compartment and then open the door, turn around, smile, and then close the door. Now we're going to move into the last compartment. And as you go to that last compartment, this compartment, believe it or not, is all the things that you have desired, that you have wished, that you have wished upon, expected it, requested, you wanted it. Because want in a way is like, I want something, but we're coming from lack. But when we request it, we desire it, we uh, require it, that means it is coming, right? And we give it a more positive spin. So everything, your wish list, your fulfills a dream is in this compartment. And it's been the last compartment. And that's because you haven't visited it yet. And that's what you want to evolve to. And look around and acknowledge everything that it's here. Even the ones that was a part of your to-do list or wish list, right? And you're going to turn around and pick three of them and say, I'm going to move them with me and bring them with me all the way to my conductor's compartment. So it's going to come with me to the front row. Pick three of them. And it can be either relationships, it can be you know, the things you want, uh, it can be uh, if it is a money, you want to manifest a certain amount, right? Make sure the amount is there. Don't say, I want more of whatever. What is it that you want more of? Be specific, be very detailed, and bring that forward. We're going to bring that forward with us. Pick three. Now that you have three, just give me hashtag one or hashtag three if you've got your three. Three items, three things that you are ready to create, to manifest and make it happen. Right? Now, once you have your three, let's move forward. You come back to the second compartment. The second compartment is all, you, all the things that are in there and you looked at it open the door, you come to the second apartment, I want you to look around. Everything that has happened and you have experienced, the things that you no longer want, there is a side door. You're going to open them and release them. Just release and say, thank you. We are done. And you can no longer be part of my next journey. I've done it. I've used it. I have, I'm done with this experience. I no longer choose to have this experience follow me or be a part of my next journey, right? Once you have that, that's in compartment number two, hashtag number two, that you are done. Go ahead. Hashtag number two. Okay, good. We're clear with that one. Actually, it feels much lighter, doesn't it? I know this is going to be difficult, but this is how we are making changes in our life. Decluttering it, releasing it, 
peeling away. How do you think I help my clients peel away emotional baggage? You know, shedding all the things that we no longer want. And it can be relationships. It can be uh, experiences. It can be habits, behaviors. Even the word fine. From this day forward, you're no longer fine unless you're saying you're such a fine person. But even that is not really saying what kind of a person it is. It's such a slang word. So starting today, no more fine. It's better, more loving, healthier, lovelier, even exciting, sexy, things, words that excite us, words that create this beautiful experience that make you smile. Fine does not. Now, second compartment, we're done, aren't we? Feel lighter, excited to move to the next compartment. And this is the part that it's a bit going to be difficult. Let's move to the first compartment, compartment number one. Look around. And as you have said, thank you to every single relationship. Because without these experiences, the people who are in this compartment, the people who have surrounded you and helped you and molded you to where you are today. Even the ones who pushed your button, challenged you, made you uncomfortable. And you might even say, but some of them even hurt me. Yes, through that hurt, you have felt hurt. Today is the day that you're going to say no more. Thank you for those experiences. Today, I choose differently. You know, when we talk about standing up, it's about standing up for yourself. It's about for you to stand up and say, I matter. As a matter of fact, if you want to have a consultation, a free 20 minute consultation with me, you can even hashtag I matter. Without even the hashtag, just say, just put the words I matter to 818-221-2797. 818-221-2797. And just text I matter. And by all means, we can have a free consultation together. Because the moment you choose to have a voice, to speak up, no matter how uncomfortable, that's the day that you validate you. Look around, there's, there's people you cannot say goodbye to because they are a part of family. They are relationships that truly are there and we cannot say goodbye. But there's relationships that no matter how difficult today, we're going to energetically say thank you and no more. Look around and if there is anyone that you no longer want them to be welcomed for the next leg of your journey, for the next journey, you can ask them to leave. You know why? Their ticket ex has expired and you are not renewing it. And it is your choice because you are the compartment of this train. It can be a train of thought, a train of 
emotions, your journey for the next leg of what you are creating, becoming, manifesting, and blossoming into physically, mentally, emotionally, personally, even professionally. It's okay for the new to come in. They bring you fresh experiences. And although, I'll tell you this, I'm one of those who welcomes change. And yet when change happens, I have this difficulty to, to accept it right away. Believe it or not, even when Facebook changed from the classic to this one, I was like, okay, I don't get it. It's taking me a moment. It's so hard for me to know where everything is. That's why it even took it took me even a minute or two for me to log in because I couldn't find where it was. And that is okay. It makes me smile and laugh because it's reminding me that what I am doing and helping and uh, helping my clients go through their challenges and shedding and peeling away uh, characters, behaviors, habits. It's peeling away things that we have been holding on dear to our heart, dear to our body, or dear to our mind. That's when I say I know what they're going through and I can hold space for my client, for you. I step into the same pain in a different way. I may not step into your shoes. I do not know who your people are in your compartment, but I too have brought my new people in my compartment and some people I've said goodbye to. First, in reality, and the second one, which is more important, is if you are not ready to say goodbye, I want you to do this. Close your eyes for just a moment. Go ahead, close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, release and let go. One more time, nice deep breath, bringing in oxygen and vitality. Hold, four, three, two, one, and exhale. Releasing tension. And knowing that you're okay. You're more than fine. You're doing amazing. You are in total control at this very moment. And I want you to recognize that today I give you permission for you to validate yourself and recognize that you have always been the conductor of this train except sometimes you forgot to wear your hat and you allowed others to be the conductor. So, and as you look around in your own mind's eye, perhaps either with your eyes open or not, you can hear me, but you can feel your heart, your pulse, every sound from your breath to every sound that there is surrounding you. And as you validate your being in your body that houses you, shields you, and protects you, and the sound mind that you have, and the loving heart. 
I want you to place your hand upon your tummy where your belly button is. And as you do, just caress it once, twice, and three times. Stop and you just close it. Just as if you just did once, twice, three, you hold it. And energetically imagine each person sitting in that compartment, looking into their face, into their eyes, and energetically, those who you no longer want to have an energetic connection. You no longer want their energy, their psyche, their being. Can be physically there, but no longer have any bearing on you energetically. Just release. Release. Each one, your belly button, you bring it, you look in their eyes, you can release. And those are only the ones that you just want. You know how they say cut the umbilical cord? It's like instead of cutting it, you go like this and you release it. It's in a cutting way. But instead of cutting, which is real cut, we are doing release. Releasing by choice your choice, your decision, not because I say so, not because they say so, because no one has power over you, nor the right, only you do. And with that, Close your eyes again, and as you breathe in and out, release all blames, all hurt, shame, physical hurt, emotional hurt. Let go of that pain, because what I want you to do is go from that feeling of powerless to the gain of feeling growth and knowing that you are ready to gain your own confidence, to regain the choices, to voice to express so that you can move on expressing what you want in life every day in every way appreciating and accepting yourself far more deeply than ever before after you release the zen feeling that you truly that's what mindfulness is that's what self-hypnosis is it's being and tapping deeper within yourself give yourself permission to stand up for who you are and realize you are a gift of god so the next time when I ask you, how do you feel? Say, I feel wonderful. I am excited. I am delighted. I am sexy. You can use anything that makes you feel better. Every day in every way, experiencing things, voicing it so you can hear it, and validating the best version of who you want to be and with that you are ready to evolve and go to the next compartment which is the conductor put your conductor's hat and say all aboard ready feeling lighter
you pull that horn and you go through that fog. And by now, all the fog has cleared up. You know why? Because you have a better understanding and a clearer vision of where you want to go. I hope today's metaphoric way of explaining how you can move things and go by evoking what was, embracing what is, so that you can evolve to what you want. All that because you matter helped you utilize this method and metaphor, not only for yourself, maybe for someone who's in need of it. My name is Lisa. I'm your expert hypnotherapist and the person who's going to shift you from pain to gain. If you would like to have a free 20 minute consultation with me, by all means, you can text I matter to 818-221-2797. And let me see. Hello, my friend. Hi, Zarik. Thank you for this uh, resonates with me. Wonderful. Can I throw some passengers off? <laughs> It's about time you do this, Shadow. And I know you have this wonderful chair that you sit in. You know, it's like a conductor's chair, isn't it? So three, two, one, go. Yes, you are so true. Hi, Albert. How are you? Hi, honey, John. How are you? I know. See, I get excited. I get sex. I'm picturing a high speed train. I open the door and those ghosts of the things past you fly out behind the train and turn to dissipating dust. Amen. I love that ticket idea. Your ticket expired. You're out of here. You know what? We cannot go to a movie theater. We cannot go anywhere. Nowadays, it's even a toll. You can't go anywhere without permission. So where and how some people exuded themselves and placed it in our train, you know what? It's not that we don't give them permission. Sometimes they come in and we feel so weak. We feel like, oh, you know what? I don't think I can say no to them. And so many of us are people pleasers. And because we don't want to, for them to hurt, or for them to feel uncomfortable, you know what we do? We say, okay. We want to sign a contract. The contract, it's not exactly what we want. And we say, it's not everything I want, but I don't want to be disagreeable. Why not? So that when you sign the contract and you pay, you turn around and you come and go, this is not exactly what I wanted. And then you resent yourself. You see, unfortunately, people pleasers have so much self-resentment. And when we resent ourselves, guess what's going to happen? You're going to go and punish yourself. You punish yourself energetically. You punish yourself physically. You punish yourself emotionally. Somehow or another, if it is not something that it's an agreed by both parties. If it is not something that you have to put yourself down for someone else, then you're going to go blame yourself. Instead of saying, you know what, let's renegotiate. Let's renegotiate either an apartment. Let's renegotiate this business deal. Let's renegotiate this contract, this agreement. Because if I am not happy, if I think my needs are not met and you are charging me and I have paid for it, uh, I have paid for it either by money, I have paid for it by saying yes to do something for you, it's an agreement. And if the agreement, you have to allow them to stomp on top of you, 
and for you to leave or sit back and say, I don't like it, but I will do it. You may do it one time, but the second time, you know, they say the second time it's not going to happen. And so we do this loop, we go round and about by feeling hurt, by feeling anxious, by feeling overwhelmed. And those are the people that I work with, especially women who are in the career, who are managing a career, managing a business, managing home, children, everything that are feeling overwhelmed, over anxious, undervalued. And it doesn't matter men or women, it's just like most of my clientele are women feeling all this. Men express it, men stand up, men voice it, women don't, not as much. There are so many women who do. And yet, we still feel as if if I stood up for myself or I said something, you know, it, it's not going to be right. People are going to look at me or I'm going to be wrong. No, it's okay to learn how to voice it lovingly, kindly, powerfully, and not exuding your power as if you are aggressive. Being assertive is different than being aggressive. So you're not fine. You're not fine until you learn the art of expressing, acknowledging, reinstating what you want, and truly feeling. That in itself is an art. So, do not sign on the dotted line unless you say, I am negotiating. And when you agree, make sure that you feel good about the agreement. Even if you not necessarily gave in, but doing it knowingly, you say, okay, I will do this this time. I'm doing it, but I'm doing it knowingly. And because I am taking responsibility for this, and because I'm doing it knowingly, I sign it, I accept. And when you accept, take ownership, take responsibility, and there is going to be no misgivings and no harshness and no resentment. Do it fully and if you have already agreed to something you are already in a relationship or a contract or in a environment that you've already been in and it's no longer working for you you must step back and say i am ready to renegotiate this and voice it or say to yourself this is gonna it has a timeline. Once it ends, I am not renegotiating it unless I have other uh, things that are meeting my needs. The pendulum cannot be that far off or that far to the left or to the right. You've got to have a, 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 a relationship that is this way, just like the waves in the ocean. Okay? So I hope today's message was beneficial to you. Let go of blames and hurt. Take responsibility and ownership of who you are and what you desire in your life. And with that, let's get this train moving. All aboard, all clear, and I will see you next week. Until then, God bless you, and may the universal light surround you. Remember one thing, you're only one thought away from transforming and going from pain to gain. This is Lisa. Bye-bye.
Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.